welcome to our pitched roof 2D analysis in light gauge steel. We add the calculation as with all calculations from the TES library access system. That's already done. We click on calculate section. We can design to British standards or Euro codes. Designing a pitched roof today, but we have mono pitched rafters and inverted floors. We're designing a Fink roof truss. We have various options here. Number of panels, limited based on the, the wizard for Fink. How allows us many more, for example. Fink five, three meters high. Span of the truss 10 meters and the truss centers are 10 meters. As with all our other calculations, we have a list of 30 plus manufacturers. We can select any of the profiles. Today we've picked the 100 by 1.2, but all the members. We've specified 5 millimeter diameter fixings and we've orientated in the strong axis, although we can choose the weak axis. Note the uh, pop ups for the information to remind us wind load must be. Entered positive is pressure, suction is negative. So we've entered values. We can alter the flexion limits. Click on next. The wizard develops the nodes, trusses, shows us the loadings, load combinations, results, and outputs. But we're not interested in any of that at this stage. We can just click through. Right. We can see on the left everything has passed. Wait for the egg timer to finish. And see all the information is there. The member checks is the bit that we've added. Summary of the tables, the reactions onto the structure below, top cord checks, we have uh, tension and compression checks, number of fixings required, number of fixings in the diagonals, in the, the sloped diagonals, not the internals, the internal diagonals, member checked, and fixing capacitors again, this says that we need three to fasten to the top slope and the bottom cord, bottom cord, member checks, checks in tension, etc. Notice it's been calculating the weight per square meter for all the components, we have a deflection check on the bottom cord, We have the number of fixings again. We also have the weight per square meter for the entire truss. I hope this has been of interest and of use. We'll hear from you soon.